This week's episode of Fan Service, we talk about Final Fantasy. Delightful anime. Magical anime. And everyone's favorite anime, Steven Universe. I don't know. Fuck this candy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a diet. This Candy's stinks. so good. This stinks. Carb- Did you know carbohydrates or whole sugar is a carbohydrate? So nope. Help. So I can't have fruit. Yeah, sucks. that's why. It wait, sucks. what? Keto wait. can't eat fruit? Can't eat fruit well, you, keto. They tell limited. you that fruit's good for you. You're limited to what fruit you can eat if you're on keto. What is keto? Tell me what the keto is. A uh, keto diet is uh, essentially a spurring your, it's telling your body no more carbs. Do not take energy from carbs or glucose. You're going to take energy from fat. So what that means is you have a high fat, um, medium protein, and low carbs. And carbs mean sugar and bread okay so you just eat butter is butter stuff. not a fat oh my god i'm just adding like a tablespoon of butter to every meal <laughs> yeah what yeah i was joking you can eat, you can eat <laughs> plates full of bacon it's great yeah, all right you well really here's can. my question okay does keto keep you from ingesting anime no then we're good <laughs> welcome to the fans of us. Uh, i'm your boy sick miles uh i am keto isa i am born this way torian I'm just Josh. No, oh, that was nice. good. That's I like it. Good. It was <laughs> clean. I like this. Uh, like Cole this. is dead. Just kidding. <laughs> he's, uh, no. he's sick. He's sick, but but moderately more sick than me. So he's not here, but I am here. Slowly dying. Oh, yes, as but we all are. Next. The human condition. Well, no. See, here's the thing. He was next. I was first. Yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah it's Miles' fault. I showed up here yesterday. With the plan to record two hours worth of stuff with our boy Kyle off off camera, Kyle. Uh, I made it through one of those hours and then was like, "I need to go home." Because oh. uh, not only was I sick, I sometimes get a migraine from these lights, the lights in here, which is why I don't know if I've done this on fan service. This is not a fashion statement. Oh. This is purely purely utilitarian. <laughs> I keep this cowboy hat in here to protect my brain uh, from the lights, which give me uh, migraines and want to throw up. Uh, so it's not funny, and I demand to be taken seriously. <laughs> Do you understand? Thank you very much, everyone in the audience. I was enjoying it so much. I was I, enjoy- like, you just have to enjoy it from a respectful distance and silence. From a respectful all right? distance. That's and it. Silence. You can enjoy it all you want I'm so on sorry. the inside. I'm so I'm so sorry for your, your sorry. migraine thing. But you look so, <laughs> <laughs> you, look so you look so silly. Yeehaw. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it helps. I, I hate like how much it helps. I was like, that hat makes me smile so Maybe, much. Maybe, I mean, don't you have like a regular like dad hat? Oh. Uh, not here. You don't wear hats usually. I don't I because I have big ears. Is yeah. that considered I, a dad hat? <clears throat> no, no, I mean just like your hat. They're they're kind of just called dad hats, I guess. Oh, yeah. I see. That's yeah. a fitted. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Josh's is more of a dad hat, but he's twisted it around. So mm-hmm. now it's a youth hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yours, you have some blemishes upon your hat. I no do. father would ever let their hat get into a state of disrepair. Therefore, yours that. is like a you, you got bachelor hat on right now. Oh. I have a bachelor hat. Oh. Bachelor hat, maybe stepdad hat. Stepdad <laughs> hat. Stepdad meanwhile, hat. here's meanwhile, a... giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you you own a, a oil. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oil? So I I look <laughs> like oil? I should be rich, but <laughs> oh, no, you're rich. <laughs> hey guys, let's. I'm rich with friendship oh, and yeah. anime. So let's rustle us up some topics. Oh my god. <laughs> look, 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 I'm hopped up on Dayquil right now. Oh so you gotta god. cut me some slack. <laughs> I'm wearing a cowboy hat. I'm hopped up on Dayquil. I'm taking steroids, and if I'm not better by Friday, I have to start taking antibiotics. Not to get Jack steroids, oh, but the steroids it. help my body. Function. I was okay. looking forward oh to you, Jack. Oh my God. <laughs> Miles, Miles, don't Because <laughs> clearly I'm the pinnacle of health. <laughs> there it is. Cole Josh just me, like looks. <laughs> Cole asked me, he was like, he was like, so if you've been sick since like last week, does that mean you've been watching a lot of anime? And my response was, yeah. is Steven Universe an anime? <laughs> that's, Ooh. That's Are you watching a movie? Anime adjacent. Not yet. I've made it, to, I've made yeah. it almost all the way through season three in the nice. past... Four days. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it's pr- I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go on record. Steven Universe is pretty fucking anime. You nice. got fusion yeah. dances. Yeah. You got transformation sequences. Mm-hmm. You got power level fights and alien invaders and. Motherfucker, you got power of friendship in there. Oh, for sure. That's pretty oh, much sure. the whole thing. Isn't yeah. like that's one of the bigger themes of that show, right? Like relationships and oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Like I mean, if we're really gonna talk about Steven Universe, we just can. like a Let's slight say. second. <laughs> I mean, like like a, like a side note is that most a lot, a lot of cartoons, um, like Steven Universe, it, it it's anime. It's just it's drawn absolutely... and presented as the, like Jackie Chan Adventures is anime. Oh, as that's shit. pretty. Oh, anime. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, anime. That's pretty anime. It's, but it's absolutely like, yeah. in some regards derivative, of, not derivative of, but like paying homage to and oh, inspired yeah. by the same way For Scott sure. Pilgrim versus the World is a very manga inspired comic series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Brian Lee O'Malley's work is like you can clearly tell what some of his influences are. Were you whispering? I burped. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were like, <laughs> we're, we're not talking about anime. <laughs> take, him out. take him out right now. No, Sorry, I didn't mean sorry. to have you. Um, <laughs> but uh, I will say the thing that I do think is interesting, it's it's a friendship shonen, um, kind of. Like, a oh, friendship like, I mean, because every every okay. crystal gem yeah. on the team can like summon a weapon, and, and Steven's whole thing is he summons a shield, a shield which yeah. is super representative of who he is as a character, which is he never likes to fight. Mm. He right. always wants to talk about it. Yeah. And it, God, that show makes you cry. And yeah. I don't think it's just the day quill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that's why I couldn't get and I it's nothing on the show. It's just me. Is that uh I couldn't get into it because Steven wouldn't fight. Dog, oh, I, I this is, so this is like, my I wanted second, him to fight. This is my no, this is my third attempt watching it. And okay. this is the first time it stuck because I just couldn't leave the couch. But like <laughs> it, it <laughs> took until like the high 20s of season one. And I mean, the episodes are 11 minute long. That's sure. true. Yeah, um, but like, it wasn't until like the 20s where I was like, because at first I thought it was charming. I love the art direction. The musical numbers are just wonderful. But it was like, this is fine. This is cute. I see yeah. why people like it. But then in the like mid 20s was when I was like, oh, there's something way more like real happening yes. here. The way in which it handles specifically characters relationships mm-hmm. is, is messy. It's filled with jealousy right. and anxiety and like, it's fucking real, man. Yeah. And I, I, I have. It's probably one of the most. This show probably represents relationships in the most realistic manner I've seen in most like animated mm-hmm. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. forms. I, I mean, suppose. even talking with like my own relationship situations, like you know, friendship or whatever, or family. Someone's recommended me to watch the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like as like you should watch the show, and it, and you know, just to kind of really get a barometer or just like this is a medium that you can you might be able to relate to for your specific situation and whatever relationship you're yeah. dealing with so like the first the first like really clear like um relationship that is touched upon mm-hmm. is a super problematic one oh, yeah. like these two That's coworkers right. that work together and one of them is very clearly into the other one and the other one treats her like shit yeah and you're just mm. like this sucks this is really sad to watch happen yeah. and they yeah. continue to flesh that out as the show goes on but like yeah. the first relationship that they introduced is a bad one and i was yeah. like wow that's really at least that's how it, how i chose to perceive it but josh do you watch i haven't watched steven universe yeah have so. you tried before i did try and i think i stopped for the same reason that you did yeah, yeah he just he wasn't fighting yeah. i think there is i i do have the similar feeling uh, about with you guys where I think there was a point where I was just like oh well I mean I feel like I took it for granted mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, where I knew it, it existed so I wasn't really going to commit myself to watching it even though a lot of my friends were really into it um, because I think I wasn't as charmed by it as right. first as like a lot of people <clears throat> were and like made that commitment mm-hmm. the first episode whereas now I think my main problem is the internet has spoiled Steven Universe for me. Oh yeah. Um, I yeah. know what goes on now. See, I don't know the storylines, but I know it's like everyone's like, oh, expect a lot of heartbreak and really yeah. stuff. And like, despite knowing that, I'm still enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's like another thing too. Is just like, oh, if you know what happens already, then does that affect your engagement or enjoyment in like a series? Yeah, I think I think it will always affect it. I yeah. think the question is, does it affect it? How much does it affect it, and is right. it a negative effect? Mm, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. I think, a, <clears throat> well, see, that's the thing. Like, every time someone, like, has seen a thing that I haven't seen or mm-hmm. whatever, like, someone, like, one of my friends brought up Steven Universe, and he was like, well, you know, he told me about the thing. I was like, well, just tell me what happened. <laughs> you know? um, and he's like, no. I, what I don't like, I don't like this, right? If you, Miles, have seen a thing, right? Yo. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. But I haven't seen it, and then you're like, "Oh, I don't want to talk about it because you haven't seen it." And I'm like, "Oh, it's whatever. Let's 
I'm more interested in our interaction and talking about the thing that you're interested in because I also think that'll bring a lot to the conversation. If I mm. haven't seen it, mm-hmm. I want to hear you talk and gush about it and stuff like that. And then that'll, you know, promote me to bring up more questions and then that's how a conversation works. For sure. Um, <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> but, but like, you're like, no, I don't want to talk about it because you haven't seen it. Like, I don't give a shit. I will, like, always, I will always ask, do you plan on watching it? And then if not, then I'll fucking well, gush see, at you. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm getting yeah, at. Yeah. Even if I'm planning on watching it, Oh. More times than not, it does not affect. Interesting. Oh, interesting. It does not affect how I like, even That's if it's nice. like some crazy twist or some crazy yeah. revelations, like nine times out of 10, I still get the full effect from whatever it is that you're mm. not trying to spoil. Mm. That's mm. nice. And I really, really enjoy that about myself because then I can have a conversation with you, even if I haven't seen it, and then mm-hmm. I can go see it and then still be surprised enough or interested enough to formulate my own opinions and then we can continue our conversation. All right, all right. Have you guys ever experienced that where like you did no spoilers about something but you still watched it anyway and you still really enjoyed it? I mean, yeah. it sounds like you had a lot yeah. of experience but That's, like, is there yeah. a series in particular that hmm. makes you think of that? Hmm. Like, like I went into it knowing everything that was going to happen and I was still like, oh, this tight? Yeah. Hmm. Or like afraid of, because you knew Surely. and you were afraid that it would kind of affect or kind of like change how your perception. Oh, no, on it. One, maybe. Well, okay, it's not a show. I uh, I've been playing Link's Awakening though, oh. and I know the twist at the end, and I hate that I know the twist. Yeah, because every time I'm like I'm talking to like certain characters, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I know what's gonna like, happen. You're like the same the thing. One, right? I, I was playing through Final Fantasy VII for the first time. I know all the stuff that happens there, so yeah. I, mean, I meet certain characters, and I'm like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I guess I shouldn't give you lots of mana and stats uh, and things. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy VII is adjacent enough, anime adjacent enough, where like I think I watched this Final Fantasy video covering like oh, all the hidden details about all the new stuff, whatever, just to play in the background. And they're like, oh, they're doing a lot more things in the trailers with um that uh, avalanche group. <laughs> oh yeah, and and I'm just yeah. like oh yeah, and they're like I think they're setting it up for whatever happens later. I was I, like ah, I will no. say okay. <laughs> yeah, here's case in point. I know about the big thing that happens in Final Fantasy VII that makes everybody cry. I did not know about the avalanche thing that happens. And so when I got to that point in the game, I was like, wait what? <laughs> wait what? And like yeah. I like I got I was like that was when I got really invested because this sure. is like the third time I've tried to play Final Fucking Fantasy Seven. I just I need to finally accept yeah, the fact yeah. that I don't like JRPGs. Um, I just think they're repetitive and fucking boring. It's, it kills me, dude. I love Persona. I love so much so about that's Persona. A direct con- I, that's a direct no, no, contradiction. Listen, no, listen to me. I love the art style of Persona. That's I the love the JRPG. Listen to me. Let me finish. I love the art style of Persona. I love the characters of Persona. I love the storyline of Persona. I fucking hate playing Persona. Mm. Remember when I said that's I was going to be quiet? I'm sorry. That, yeah. no, no, that no, game no, no. is that's, fucking that's boring as shit. That's fair. I hate dungeon crawling. I hate what? having to go back every time. Just let me make friends and go and get, we'll get ramen together. I'll give Chia okay. some meat. <laughs> okay. like, let me do that stuff. I will give a... I don't want to. F- oh, but I fucking hate fighting shadows. Coming. I fucking hate you'll fighting shadows so much. You, you just want like like anime, anim- uh, Animal Crossing. Just give me anime. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I should just watch anime. anime. That yeah. game exists though, without what? the fucking dungeon crawling shit. What's it? It's 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 a genre of game where you can like simulator where you can go to school and you can do shit. Uh, Why are you fucking games? playing Persona? Because. Game? I think Persona's got a dope fucking story. I guess <laughs> that's, that's valid. That's valid. I don't know. What is it? I don't know. I'm, 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 it's okay. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I wish I liked JRPGs more because JRPG, JRPGs tend to have really cool stories and characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a fucking grind. I mean, I yeah, like JRPGs for the fights, and even sometimes I do find myself getting into like the little school shit and the relationships. I'm like, man, if I take ten baths, I'll be more charming, <laughs> <laughs> and then I can go talk, and then I can go talk to this girl and see if she go out with me, and then she's like. Like, no, you gotta take four baths. And I'm like, <laughs> I like kind I of took a dirty six boy. too many. No, <laughs> you're too, too clean for me. And, <laughs> and now it's the scene off the list where I can get with or whatever. Um, oh but God, here's the thing funny. though, right? The thing about just using Final Fantasy VII as an example, mm. most of that game, even if you haven't played the old one, mm. it's just been spoiled through pop culture. Sure. Oh, yeah. Like every single, not every single person, but if you're just into this stuff, yeah. You know all the major yeah. beats in Final Fantasy VII, which is why I think, and from a few interviews they were talking about it, even the little stuff that we've seen already, I think they're going to do something different in the new game. She kills <gasps> him. I think they're going to do something different. Yeah. I think they're going to do something different. I didn't play the first one, 
but I feel like I know everything that happens. Yes. I don't, I don't, I would, um, here's the thing. But I played all the other games. I would yeah. love if that happened. I feel like the internet would piss its fucking britches. Nah. If they were like, they nah. changed my this story. Is, but this is exactly, here's, I would be, I honestly, I get it. I totally get the significant, we all know what we talked about, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Right, right Josh? Uh, we all know the big mystery. thing that happens in Final mystery. Fantasy yeah. VII, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. internet, we all know what we're about to talk about, right? Cool, just checking. Okay. Yes. It, it would be very, in my in my humble opinion, uh. it would be disappointing uh. based on everything I've seen so far, based on what they've talked about. Like, the game is already, like, different. Like, they're already showing Sephiroth and, like, some situations, and you interact with him, mm. and then some other spooky stuff is happening. Spooky. Um. um I would be disappointed if they did the same thing mm. or if there wasn't like another option to where that didn't happen. Mm. Mm. I will be disappointed if they literally just left it the same. Well, okay. I mean, That's valid. Oh, it's... it looks prettier. Yeah. Nah, nah, fam. Hey, yeah. dog. It's been 15 years, hey, 20 hey, years, whatever. Hey, dog, the video game industry makes tons of money on, well, this one just looks prettier. <laughs> but, but, oh. I get mm. that, but they seem to be putting so much effort into making it more than just a remake. I just okay. realized what it is you want. Okay. I just realized what it is you want. What? You want the fucking Evangelion complete <laughs> rebuild, re rebuild <laughs> of Final Fantasy VII. That's, That's what, what you doing. want. That's what you want. You know what? That's what they're doing. Now, if this was like, now here's the thing. I don't think Square is going to go and pull that as as dope as I think that sure. would be. Mm -hmm. If this was someone like Hideo Kojima is going to do a rebuild of the early like Metal Gear games, sure. 100% oh, yeah. I would oh, expect yeah. him to be like, mm, this is what I wanted to do the whole time. I will not give you what well, you he, want, but I will do a new thing. Because that's how I imagine Twin Snakes, right? What's sure, that? Probably. He tried to do that with Twin Snakes, uh, but he kind of like made it in his weird Matrix kind of thing. Or whatever. I don't remember. Okay, wait. So here, let me posit a question. <laughs> person who's in charge of seven right now is Tetsuya Nomura. Have y'all played and finished Kingdom Hearts 3? No. And have y'all yes, read sucks. any of the interviews that he, you, he's had about yes, Kingdom Hearts 3? Yes, and he's wrong. 3? True. That <laughs> one. Um, God, Kingdom Hearts 3 has so many. But here's the thing. Um, it's been so many years for Nomura where he's actively changing some of the things and his own perceptions about yeah. his own characters that I don't know. Maybe there is a possibility that he could be up to changing certain things about what happens in Seven just based off of his attitude. I'm just saying. Wait, is wait, wait? Did he do Final Fantasy Seven? Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah, he's in charge that. of Seven, the Seven remake right now. Yeah, he oh. most most like action oriented things. He's been the helm of. Yeah, okay. he like, designed the Seven characters from the get go. Mm -hmm. Um, he was in charge of eight. I don't know about nine and stuff. I think he had a hand in fifteen when they changed. Oh, it. when he was the first person to be on like versus thirteen, yeah. mm -hmm. and then they changed it to fifteen, and then they're like, we actually have to finish the game. So Nomura, do something else. <laughs> yeah. do Kingdom yeah, yeah, Hearts yeah, yeah, three, yeah. and then we'll yeah. bring on this other person to finish fifteen. Um, so he is he is that guy. Gotcha. gotcha He's gotcha. A, he is the like the titular Square Enix dude. Like. <laughs> Of course, there's like a fuck ton of brownie points they can get, right? Mm -hmm. From just keeping it the same, it just looks prettier, you know, some cool cinematic shit or whatever. Um, but like I, you you do something like thirteen, right? Sure. Which is a shakeup to JRPGs yeah. and Final Fantasy in general. But a lot of a lot of that game, while like from the fan base is like, ah, why'd you do this? Critically, that game is praised because it did some different and sure. is what the yeah. series needed. Like sure. yeah. it is what the series needed. I, I, I just think you just do that. Like do something you different. use it. There's two things you can do with the established property. Mm. You can keep going, right? Or you can use it as a vessel to like try to like do, do something, something else right. or. But okay, but here's here's or push it. Here's what is you're talking about though. Sure. You're not necessarily talking about changing. Game mechanics. That's something that's already happened. Yeah, that. But that we're talking has about. To. We're talking about. We're talking about changing the narrative of a story that's already been told. Yeah, and I think a lot of it depends on how you market that is going to determine how your audience reacts to that. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, there are some people that will intentionally misdirect the audience. We talked about that with Made in Abyss before. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And you know, Doki Doki Literature Club is another like oh, I'll yeah. call it anime adjacent game. It, yeah, one hundred percent. That uh, that absolutely is remarkable in the way that it misdirects the audience. Yeah. Um, but I think there are just there are some things that if you 
if you change something without prepping the audience for it on a narrative level, I think there is a very high chance of a negative reaction to that. Mm. Oh, for sure. Mm. Especially I mean, if someone's like, oh, I've never, because look at it this way. I've seen some people, I was almost one of these people that was like, well, I never played the original Final Fantasy VII, but now that I see they're doing a remake, I'll just play the remake so I can like, because the old one's kind of outdated, but I'll finally be able to experience the story uh, for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. And if yeah. all the old school players are like, there's a different story! Like, that is like it could be, it, yeah. it could it be, could be, be a negative thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's not to say, I, sure. I, I think it would be dope. Yeah, <laughs> like completely fucked. I with didn't that think shit. about it that way though. Like, like what you just said is like very much valid. That's the, that is a a huge possibility, uh, especially because it's so ingrained in pop culture. Mm -hmm. You know, new people are like, man, now I can. I don't because I'm one of those bougie people that I would not go back to old games because they're ugly. <laughs> sure, they are ugly as shit. Yeah. God, I'm so, so down with New Zelda because it looks so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't fuck with old Zelda because it's trash. It looks, <laughs> it looks so bad. Even the, even the like, it seems like that's like what they really wanted to do with the mm -hmm. game. They're like, oh fucking finally, yeah. yeah, this is how I want you to play this game. Forget about that old one. Um, yeah. So I won't, I won't go back to old shit for sure. So part of me. Uh, is definitely in that like man i do want to experience because i've only gotten bits and pieces of it through pop culture but man i do want to you know i've watched advent children still getting bits and pieces of it yeah. played dirge still getting bits and pieces of it yeah. played the zach game still getting but you know what i'm saying yeah, i'm yeah. not getting the full 20 hour 40 sure. hour you know everything about the lore um so i wouldn't mind like re like experiencing that story firsthand, but through like these crazy cool HD, you know, graphics and gameplay and stuff like that. But I'm also on the side of kind of like being an audience to the fan base, freaking the fuck out. <laughs> like, cause I, I'm already like, it's going to be cool. Like you mm -hmm. see a Kojima game. This is going to be cool. Yeah. I know the story is going to be weird, mm -hmm. but this is going to be great. So I'm already like sold, but if they do some shit and I see like Twitter or something explode and I was like, well, that was just fun. They're like, no, this is not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that's really that'd be great. So I guess I'm on both. That'd be cool. Well, that's interesting. We've talked a lot about anime adjacent things. Yes. I got to ask though. Shall I watch that season premiere of My Hero season four? Ooh. Mm. I will say no. <gasps> I did not. Because oh. someone told me, oh, uh, it's the first episode of a new season. It's basically like a recap. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. When I was going to yeah. yeah, exactly, I was like, I got exactly really excited to watch it. And I got five minutes in. I was like, oh, of course this is just a recap yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. But what the weird part is, I don't remember. And I stopped, I stopped reading it just so like some volumes can come out. And then I can read a bunch of them. Yeah. I don't remember this being in the manga. It probably wasn't. It wasn't. The, I don't think so. the, okay, no. the last first episode of season three was also a recap and it was a special thing where they went swimming and, and I I, that it. wasn't in the manga. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I thought I was crazy. I yeah, much preferred crazy. the swimming recap <laughs> to this one. This one and maybe is, just because yeah. Eden was being all hot up in that pool. Oh yeah. Um, I still, I will I will die on the hill. My One of my favorite things that my hero has done is made the big nerdy guy fucking shredded and hot and I <laughs> yeah. love that. Yeah, he yeah, still yeah. has the, you know, charisma of a piece of cardboard but <laughs> I love him. Um, <laughs> If but uh, uh, no, it was a fine. It was a fine recap. Honestly, the right. thing because I kept waiting because you know they they send this like investigative reporter to go. He, oh, yeah. Yeah. he's got a hunch that yeah. that All Might's new protege is somewhere <laughs> in Class One A, and he's gonna get the scoop. Yeah. Um, and they keep doing this thing where like one of his eyes looks weird, and like they keep doing the cool like anime like glasses glint. Um. And I'm like, what's this guy's like? There's something going on here. And like, sure enough, they reveal that he has a quirk that like he can just like take pictures at any point in time. He's like, how you doing? Oh. And I'm like, oh, it's the eye. And they're like, no, I make camera lenses come out of my oh, body. Never mind. I was like, weird. Very weird. That was <laughs> very <laughs> I didn't like that at all. Extremely specific. I've, specific I've, very upsetting. I've oh, never God. been so no on something like oh, that I've God. seen in so anime funny. so quickly. Oh, he's like, he's like, you know, I can I can make lenses come out and then he makes like a couple come out of his arms. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he has one come out of his hand. I'm like, all right, cool. Then he starts like pulling him on his leg and he got a printer in his chest. I was like, that I'm out. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if it was intentional, <laughs> like a weird misdirect of like, cause he's got a special eye. What's the deal with his eye? It that's, just be insane and that's made that's me a... want meat buns. They could have left it. They could have left it at the hand, you know, like yeah. ah, I can take pictures. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. kind of cool. He's uh, like, nah, I can put them all over my body. It, it is that is very my hero. The thing yeah, that I've oh, always for sure. the thing that I've always found extremely charming about my hero is it never takes itself extremely seriously uh -huh. like i remember in the fucking tournament arc there's just a dude in the stands that has a shark for a head 
that's his quirk, I guess. Like even I mean, Todoroki, or quirk. not Todoroki, uh, Birdman. Um, oh, um, uh, Tokoyami. Tokoyami. Tom- Tokoyami. With the eyes Tokoyami. on his wings yeah. and stuff. Shadow, Shadow. Tokoyami. Oh. Tokoyami. Yeah. Even Tokoyami, it's like him being a bird has nothing to do with his power. Oh, He's yeah. just also a bird. bird. That's very true. Oh, <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the top half, I thought it was like a mask. Oh, yeah. Mm. So oh, I th- sure, I thought sure, he was just sure. like wearing a mask. Because his, oh, yeah. his quirk kind of looks like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's just a bird. He's, he's a bird. bird. Yeah. And that's like, it's, it leads to moments of weirdness. But it's also one of the things that I find so charming about that show. It's just, it's just like, it's fucking kooky. And it, it just constantly feels like they're having fun. Yeah. That, that, that means a lot, I feel like. When you can feel a show having fun. Yeah. And, there is a, um, I had a conversation uh, with a group of friends. Because I'm consistently always the person who's like the most up to date with the manga. Mm-hmm. Um. So even then they're like, oh, was this character in the manga? I was like, no. But then I remembered. I was like, oh, there's vigilantes. So I'm not. I ha- I don't read that side story because uh, my hero vigilantes is about um, uh, is a side side manga done by another artist. Um, but still, I think Horikoshi still kind of supervises it. Mm. But it's a side manga about like, uh, people who were not necessarily um. Uh, they did not necessarily pass to be heroes, but they're vigilantes. Oh, cool. oh that's cool. Quirks. And they're usually like not very heroic quirks either. Hmm. Um, they feature a lot of other characters from My Hero main story, though, like Mount Lady is really an, in it a lot. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think they actually establish or really set the foundation in Vigilantes about a, the relationship between Mount Lady and Kamali Woods, one of two two heroes. Uh-huh. So uh, that's pretty cool. So it is canon, but I think um, there is obviously potential for a lot of crossover between like that manga series and the main anime. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, I don't know enough about Vigilantes if that was just like an anime original character or if it could be Vigilantes. Well, you know, maybe like, it could be anime. This but. guy was like reporter dude, so maybe. Maybe yeah. he's like going around right. the Vigilantes and stuff like that. Yeah, but that does exist in case That's anyone cool. didn't I know. No, idea no it's really yeah. cool. <laughs> the recap. It's He does a thing where he's like, he's analyzing all the kids mm. or whatever. Oh, of course. And it's like, it's going on and it's playing like the My Hero music and I'm like, okay. But then... But then it gets to like kid number ten. I was like, "This is a recap." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a recap. <laughs> this is a recap. Five more minutes. Yeah, he literally yeah. goes through every single kid, and I was it's like, "This so is funny. a recap." So it's I walked so away funny. and came back. I didn't even pause. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, "Nah, I'm not gonna." <laughs> it was I'm the most intense partake. recap I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. Oh my god. But that is coming back. So new episodes every Saturday. Mm, mm, Crunchyroll, mm. Funimation, both of them stream it. Yahoo. Colin, I had uh, another hot tub uh, an anime night, which is maybe how we both got sick. Uh, <laughs> mm, <laughs> uh, it was before I was feeling sick. Um, That's when your that would make contagious. sense. That's yeah. fair. Um, we watched another episode of uh, Katana Gatari, Katana Gatari, as yeah. I think oh, the yeah. name of the series. Yeah. Fuck, I, I am continuing to absolutely love that show. That's nice. the one that has like the fifty-minute episodes, and there's like twelve oh. of them or something like that. Um, but like, still super about that entire art style. Um, and just like, I I keep hearing because I'm finding the show absolutely delightful mm. right mm-hmm. now, and I keep getting the the oh, just you fucking wait. <laughs> Like the epi- episode four is when the real show begins. Yeah. I'm just like, fuck. So many shows are like that these days. Yeah. I feel oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Steven 50 Universe. minute episodes. That's what the. Yeah, there's only like OVA episodes. Yeah. And like, there's only, I think there's only, it's either there's eight or there's 12 of them. I don't recall. But that's like the entire series. I was uh, watching anime with someone and I was trying to, f- we were trying to find like something that would be interesting to watch. And fuck me, I forgot the title. Hmm? Um, but it was like about ninjas, and it's a new one from this season. It's on Crunchyroll. So um, the first 10 minutes is like this little girl who is fighting, spoilers, it's her grandpa. And her grandpa's trying to instill in her, like, oh, you have to pass down, like, what it means to be part of the ninja clan. Did you watch this? I, she fights her, she fights her grandpa, and like, well, they later blow up you, the attic. yeah, 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 later you, it's like revealed us to be our it's, grandpa, yeah. but it starts off as if like she's fighting an intruder. Yeah, and it something. turns out she just her whole thing is she just wants to be like her dad, who's a researcher, not yeah. actually like a ninja. I watched the first episode, but I couldn't remember the name. So you say episode. It. I had paused because I was like, oh wait, I need to go to the bathroom. I pause. I go, wait, 
This is an hour and 30 minutes. Is this a movie? Is it Black Fox? Yes, Black Fox. It is, it is a movie. It's yeah. a movie. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So that surprised me. And I went, oh, I'm not committed to this quite yet. <laughs> so I stopped immediately. We both stopped immediately. Like, oh, what should we watch now? But um, yeah, it's a movie. Did you watch it? I've been meaning to watch it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you saw the trailers and I did stuff? see the trailers. It's about like some ninja stuff, right? Some yeah. kind of Where fighting did I stop thing. It? Because I did definitely did not at? sit there for an hour. Okay, yeah. I am trying to figure out where I stopped You went at. to a fugue state. You don't remember who you were, what was <laughs> going on. But <laughs> it, it, you I really like Ninja Grandpas. Ninja <laughs> There's this thing, man, like, it's really hard. I Maybe I just have, like, short attention span when it comes to anime. Maybe. What up? <laughs> like, yeah. It's real, like, probably after that, I was like, oh, let's find something else. Because it probably, like, just got real slow after the, uh, the action and the fight yeah. or whatever. Because she, she went to, like, see her dad. Yeah. He was a scientist, researcher. Yeah, I remember that. And she was, like, Nothing cute. Else. And I was like, oh, cool, she's cute. And then I and then I found out it was a movie. I was like, oh, <laughs> I can't commit. So now I'm, I'm in this, like, state where I can't commit to, like, a whole movie just to sit down and shit. Especially if I don't yeah. know if it's, like, good or if I'm going and blind. Mm. Um, but it, that's uh, what happens with streaming sometimes. It's just the whole library. And you yeah. go, oh, well, oh, my yeah. whole world's my oyster. 40 minutes I is a sweet spot. I guess I'm going to go do 40 minutes else. is a sweet spot. If I see for something you? that's 40 minutes, like on like just anything, oh, like yeah. HBO or something, I'll sit there for 40 minutes. But uh, if you like an hour, ooh. You know my sweet spot uh, now? 11 minutes. Same, same, yeah. same, oh, same, yeah. same. Yeah. You can't yeah. get a good drum out of that. No, oh my God. I, uh, what is it? You know why the Best Fate series is the cooking series? Why? Uh, because it was 11 minutes. It's very short. Yeah. It was so short. It was also the best in terms of content because everyone was happy. But- <laughs> Damn. True. See, Josh true. agrees. Very true. I didn't know they had a cooking thing. Oh, yeah. It was Didn't great. They a volleyball one, too. I was just about to say that. <laughs> so the, the volleyball is actually yeah. in the cooking thing. Co- yeah, yeah, it is in the cooking thing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh what? Yeah. The entire time in that episode, I was like, show Archer's face, you cowards. <laughs> and then the next episode, they finally showed I love face. it so much because like everybody's like, oh, Emmy is cooking. And Emmy is like known for having. Having, like really good cooking right. so they go through this entire thing where it's a beautifully animated like cooking piece where they yeah. have instructions on how to make this dish that they're making and then when everybody's having it it's just like straight up like three minutes of everybody just like blissfully mm. living <laughs> in the moment with nice. food and food. aromas and everything and like they eat it and then flowers come out yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. it's so good it's good it's a good enough like time span of time where you can eat your dinner and watch it at the same time. <laughs> That's, That's what, that is my sweet. That's spot. good. <laughs> what's a what's a you said the the anime you're watching was delightful. What's a delightful anime? Like how does that? What's a delightful anime? I mean, san was my delightful anime. Mm. What? The the, cooking that one? cooking one, that, yeah, that's delightful. Something to that's me. just like you know, because if you're watching action, you're on the edge of your seat oh. or you're whatever. What? Oh, here say we go. It, Psyche K. Oh, I started Psyche watching Psyche K, and I am okay. loving Psyche K. Okay. It, re- it reminds me of the tone of One Punch Man. Okay. What do you have a character? Have you seen? Do you guys know Psyche K? No. Imagine, no. imagine One Punch Man, but without any fucking action at all. Ooh. So, yeah, no, I don't know if you dig it. Ooh. Here's a, so uh, it's on Netflix, and the preview image is usually that guy with pink hair, and little yellow little glasses, doodles. and like two little like alien things. Oh yeah, okay. I've seen yes. that. Yes. Yeah, that. I'm just close to clicking on it every time. <laughs> take, take a character. Take the most powerful character in the world. He's psychic, telekinetic. He can like teleport. He can like he can. He's essentially the most like. Powerful psychic character ever. Okay. And because of that, he can hear everybody's thoughts all the time. And he fucking hates it because he can't really make any meaningful relationships because you can always hear the voice on the inside that's like, yeah. hey, um... we should be friends. And the inside's like, and then maybe you'll like me and then I can use you to get good grades. And you're like, oh, fuck you. Mm. Uh... Um, and really the only, like, he doesn't like being the center of attention because he constantly has to keep his powers in check because he doesn't want to give away that he's like a super psychic person. So he just likes going home and watching TV because he can't read the minds of the actors on TV. So it's the only way he can be entertained and surprised. Uh... Um, and like his parents, you know, he's psychic, are always like, hey, can you move the sofa for us with your mind? And he's like, fuck. <laughs> uh, um, but what's great is um, the show. His, I, w- I I'm not gonna say. I'll say best friend. He doesn't want any best friends. But his best friend is an idiot who, in the uh, dub, I believe is played by Chris Sabat, um, oh, who's okay. so Funny. fucking stupid he can't read his mind. So he's just like oh, he shows up randomly. He's like, oh god, I didn't know you were there. And he's like, hey, what's going on, Psyche? Let's go hang out. And you're like, I fucking hate you, you <laughs> ugly dumb piece of shit. Oh my yeah. god, um, that's so funny. Uh, and awesome. all the other all the other support characters are um, satire of genres. So there is a like um, shonen anime character 
There is a uh, she's the most beautiful girl in the world character. There is a uh, like sports anime protagonist. Um, uh, essentially, they're all insufferable. Yeah, and he hates all of them, but everyone loves him. Okay. And that's the whole thing is like the the whole premise of the show is this dude just wants to be left the fuck alone, but no one will allow him to do that. Um, okay. And it's I it's so fucking funny. Like it's not the there's just something about it that it's like again it feels like the show's having fun and yeah. I like it. Yeah, um, no, I'm not great. crazy about the 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 sub VA for the main character or okay. the du- the dub VA for the main character, but uh, it did grow on me. And yeah. I, overall, I'm still really enjoying the show. Uh, fun story. Um, there was one year where Carrie Shawcross, Austin Hardwick, and I went to Country Roll Expo, and um, Austin Hardwick at that time had really pink hair and his signature color that he wore was always like this mustard or bright yellow. Mm -hmm. He was walking around or we were walking around in a group and I think someone, I don't quote me on this story, but essentially someone was like, Hey, nice. And he goes, thanks. And then it turns out he goes, Oh, I think they think I was cosplaying psyche. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Because he looked like the character and Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh God. I just, I want to look like an anime character by default. By default. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to say mob psycho for me. Both seasons. I still need to watch it. I think it's it's delightful. Oh, delightful. Yeah. Okay. Back to like, the delightful thing. Yeah. Delightful. I was like, you want to look like Mob Psycho? The 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 correlation. Yeah, there, so. maybe. Uh, <laughs> I think it's because it's one of those things to where like you have kind of an insufferable character, the what the teacher or the, the psychic guy, the fake psychic guy yeah, that he Reagan. hangs out with. Like he he's you're like, oh man, why is Mob dealing with this guy? Yeah. Like Mob so so innocent, innocent but also so powerful like why does he even need this guy and you know he he arguably has like uh this the same like type of change in him as mob right which is which is why they can kind of like work together and stuff like that but just like it kind of delights me to see characters like have like a full like character arc and mm-hmm. you know they end up being someone different uh, either for better or worse yeah. uh, than they were when you first met them. And it makes me feel like I just went through this whole journey with them when that happens. If a character doesn't change, like, uh, it was Credio from Sword Art? <laughs> Kirito? Kirito. Oh, oh, God. Credio. Credio. oh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> Credio. Um, it's a Credio. I'm he, laughing both at Kirito he, and... like, doesn't change person like he doesn't change he's as badass as he's ever been yeah. all the way through or whatever yeah. the whole so. game he's just like well get good son and then he goes to another that. game and he's like get good and I'm like what I beat, I beat Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller get good bitch oh like, <laughs> and now I'm playing God of War with the same Guitar Hero yeah. controller and I'm still as good I'm like, <laughs> get out of here um, so I guess in general it's just like it delights <laughs> me when characters have like cool An actual, character yeah, arcs full character. and change and yeah. all this other stuff Mob, Mob is a good delightful enemy <laughs> yeah. I think I, I'm, just still, <laughs> I'm just still I'm just still having it like I beat all of Sword Art Online with the Donkey Konga controller <laughs> fucking, get on my fucking level hey, scrub you, you know what the <laughs> fucked up part about that he cheated like, oh, yeah. no one talks about that. He dead ass cheated. <laughs> Wait, like, in the I beginning forget. and at the end. I forget. He was one of the beta testers. Oh. Is that cheating or is that just using your advanced knowledge? I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Jerry's because out cause they, they were supposed to have, like, reset everyone. Sure. Oh, did he have additional oh. gear? I don't remember. Oh. I don't know, who, man. Who gives a shit? There's something <laughs> weird, but at the, end, at the end, he, he fucking, spoiler alert, he dies. Right. Oh, yeah. But the guy who created the game was like, ah, one up. Oh. And he's like, yeah, yeah I'm back. And yeah. then in the second one, the guy who created the game again was like, ah, here's these codes. And he's like, oh, I got the best weapon in the game. He's like, oh, well, guess on the game. Uh, Kira, Kira was just a fucking influencer that tweeted good things about the game. So he oh, got yeah. some fucking beta codes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got beta codes from the dead guy. He, got, he fucking pre ordered at GameStop, so he got a sweet skin. Sweet. God. I remember when that was a fucking thing. Oh my god! Um, Definitely is there cheating. an anime that makes you that you think of as delightful for you, Josh? Um, probably some goofy slice of life like Nietzsche Joe or something like that. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? You, go ahead. Uh, it's it's like little situational little things here and there, like schoolgirls living their lives, and one of them likes to draw like BL and like yeah. has to hide it, or the principal goes and wrestles a deer, or does oh a, wait, does a I like that clip. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every time people bring up the deer, they're like, yeah, I love <laughs> that deer, I love that show. German suplex. Yeah, yeah. that's delightful. a good one. That's yeah. a good one. That and brought me into Nietzsche Joe. I can tell you, um, 
know, you're talking about respecting your time, anime that you're not willing to waste your time on. I can tell you right now, Cole and I watched uh, one of the series that we talked about the other week uh, coming one? out new, Assassin's Pride. Um, oh. Which one was that? What was that about? This is the one where there's like a girl that like she lives in a world where like certain people have mana, mana, however you say it. Uh huh. Um, but like her bloodline, she should have a lot of mana, but for whatever reason, she can't like perform magic and shit. So he's like assigned to her as her bodyguard and right. he's gonna train mm-hmm. her. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you don't have to. Oh, no. You don't really have to. Why? In my humble opinion, Why? it's ve- so it is very, very. I, I, I would be shocked if this thing wasn't based on a um. A, a light novel. Okay. It is super heavy in like weird mental exposition. Like this is very strange and not very fluid dialogue sure. in okay. order to get some stuff out. Um, it's very confusing. Like <laughs> it's, it's confusing. it ends with spoiler alert. Like First the episode, main character feels like tuxedo mask if he wasn't a joke. Oh. Yeah, what? he's if like, he come with me, m'lady. Like, <laughs> the first time you meet the, like, the main girl, the main girl, oh, he says m'lady all the time, and it's, no, like, no, like, it's, it's, it's never cool. Uh, <laughs> is it translated to m'lady, or is there a ja- it's, oh, okay, what's this, oh, does he go, like, he or something? I don't know, I don't, okay. I don't remember. But, um, m'lady. So I got that starburst in there. Yeah. Um, so it's just audio cancer, sorry, everyone. Um, the fucking main girl, her introduction is, it's like, Oh, Miss Princess, what are you doing up there? Quick whip pan up to she's like standing on the railing of her balcony, like, oh, I'm just looking at the stars. Oh, oh. And then she falls in slow motion. And he's like, my lady. And he goes and like catches her. And he's like, you must be more careful, my lady. And she's like, oh, oh, oh. What the fuck are you and talking like, that's, about? That's what is her this? introduction to our main female character. And then like the whole thing is like essentially. He takes pity on her. And he's like, oh, she's so useless and sucks so hard. But by golly, does she try? You know what? Maybe I won't kill her. Maybe I'll be her bodyguard instead. Because you find out this thing that, like, he's been sent to find out if she's actually the heir of some duke or if mm-hmm. she's an illegitimate child. And if she's, uh, if she can't do magic, then she's clearly an illegitimate child and she has to be killed so that the secret doesn't get out that this duke was a nasty yeah. hoe. Um, uh, and so he's like, yeah, she can't fucking do magic, so I guess I'll kill her. But then you find out that, like, at night sometimes her dad just lets monsters attack her in the hope that, like, she'll be provoked into performing magic. So she's, like, running through the streets with these horrible monsters chasing her, and you're like, this is fucked up. And then she just gets the shit kicked out of her, and, like, they're holding her by her hair, and it looks really bad. And then he comes in and he kills them. And like right before that, he's like, I guess I should just put a stop to this and be merciful. And you're like, oh, is he going to fucking kill her? But then he's like, hey, come here. And then he like drinks a thing and then he kisses her. Oh, and then cool. she like falls into roses and then like start the credit sequence. And you're like, wait, what? And then after that, then she shows back up at the house and she's like, look, I'm glowing. I make light now. I guess I am a legitimate daughter and can do magic after all. And he's like, yes, I must keep this a secret. I must make sure that everyone believes that she can actually do magic and then we will train her and then she will be better and I won't have to kill her. Oh, but if the uh, secret gets out, I'll definitely have to kill her. I uh, guess this is the conflict of the show. Assassin's Pride, hence the title. Yeah, it's fucking... Wait, wait, cool, wait, 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 wait. Cool, interesting world. They seem to live in a giant chandelier on top of mountains that cool, are all interconnected by like tubes. Neat, and like, neat. So, mm. so, she, so she doesn't have magic. I don't know. Who knows? He drank a thing and kissed her and then she had magic. The, what was the thing he drank? I don't know. It's glow potion. I glow potion. Glow potion, glow potion glow, they glow, call it. Glow, I've, just, I've never this. been <laughs> more confused. Hey, us too. And maybe, <laughs> maybe we're being a little too harsh, but like, it, there was some cool stuff in the trailer. Like they were doing something like when people use magic, the character's outline becomes a color oh, instead cool. of just a regular black outline, which oh, yeah. I thought was really neat. Like yeah. it was a cool um, visual. Cool visual. Um, kind of clunky. Didn't quite hold us, left us a little confused. Yeah. And maybe maybe we were just two dumb boys in a hot tub that weren't paying close enough attention. Mm, and then you guys, ah, very possible. Yeah, very possible. Yeah, that was like, like the most optimal. People, anime people in the comments, experience. if you are watching Assassin's Pride and you think it's actually worth giving a second shot, let us know. Because I may have judged this book a little too hard by its cover of weird problematic situations with girls and kissing them. Mm, mm. I'm going to jump in to this new season of anime soon. My hero was, I just had to catch up on that real yeah. quick. There's Still not got a finished lot. Demon Slayer. I really want to watch that Gunhead show, but. For whatever reason, the Funimation app on my PS4 is just being a butthead. Butthead. It doesn't let me sign in. i got to figure that out. But okay. God, I want to watch that show so bad. So, what, No Gun's Life? 
I don't remember what it's called. No it's the one where life. the dude literally has a gun for a head. Yeah, yeah no guns. Yeah. yeah, I think it is No Guns Life. Shit was so cool. Did you watch it? No, oh, it's it just looked, the trailer. It yeah, yeah. looks so cool. It's buck wild, man. This I, magic show you're talking about sounds terrible. What? What's a good magic show? What's What's well, your favorite <sighs> anime? Magic, magic anime. Madoka Magica. <laughs> Madoka Magica. It's so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? No, I mean like it's wonderful and how like it is literally it is. horrifying. Yeah. It is. It is terrible what happens to these characters and what they're what they have to go through at their age and yeah i love it like because yeah. again i kind of went in all i knew was like hey you think you know what the show's about you're wrong just watch it and i was like okay and i liked that it was kind of like hey let's all collectively take a look at the magical girl anime genre and like talk about how problematic it actually well not I mean problematic is a strong word but like what when what you, could possibly yeah what, what could possibly happen if you actually took this very really seriously. really if you were to take the majority of children's programming yeah. which yeah. is like kids are going to go on an adventure to save the day and yeah. you actually start to look at that under a mic like a, a magnifying glass of realism yeah of like oh that's actually really horrible Steven Universe terrible oh yeah Steven yeah, Universe yeah, that yeah, boy yeah, would have yeah, so yeah, much yeah, trauma yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah but cool I don't know I I I, but I haven't watched again I, um. On this table, I have not watched a ton of anime comparatively. So maybe is there any We're recommendations probably... of a good magical anime to check out? Maggie, Maggie. Oh, really? I read. I read it to a point, and then after that point, I had feelings. Yeah. So the both shows are on what you have. Feelings? Magic of Magic of the Labyrinth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Magic of the Labyrinth. Maggie. Um, um, both shows are on Netflix. The one where it's the main cast, main anime, or whatever, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you meet a character in that anime called Sinbad, who's like a badass. Okay. Yes. And then there's a there's a show with his beginnings, okay. and both of them are they're pretty sick. Like okay. I like it a lot. We I did watch the first season back in college when it first came out. Like animation was pretty cool. So, yeah. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it was pretty dope. I think story wise, the manga kept going, and I could not mentally understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it is definitely one of those long running shonen mangas that got really popular. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I f check out that first anime if you want a magic okay. anime. Thing. After I wrap up Psyche, Psyche, Psyche K, K, I might check it out. Yeah. 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 Unless you haven't already like dabbled in like a fairy tale. Which oh is, yeah. Like, I uh, cannot get into a fairy tale. It's really? okay. You don't I, I found the main character. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> don't, don't, you don't have to, you yeah, don't have to. Don't worry about it. It's not, it's not a requirement. <laughs> I read every single chapter of fairy tale. It's not yeah. a requirement. <laughs> He's like, I got dragon magic. We're like, look, it's, at this point, that don't mean shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing all this candy with yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Well, happy I, October. Someone else's candy. Someone else's candy. Um, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good list of anime we talked about. Today, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And the list will keep on growing. Yeah, keep I on hope growing so. and growing on fan service. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Are we ending that way? We don't have to end that way. We get hey, that way. Guess what? We're ending that way. We're ending that way. We're ending that way. All right. Cool. Cool.